Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, the time has come to continue on with the main quest and we're gonna do so when uh, heading towards the Isle of Mists where Ciri is supposed to be hidden away uh, by Avalach. And uh, this quest urges, on, urges us to get onto a boat and that's why I'm here at Kertrol the Bay to do just that. So I'm gonna take the helm. And we're gonna try and find the Isle of Mists. It's quite a ways off as you can see. So I'll uh, probably fast forward this. But the last thing I wanna say, I made an extra save file just in case some quests get failed when we uh, start off with the Isle of Mists because it's one of the larger milestones in the story. But uh, without further ado, let's go towards the Isle of Mists. And that's a whale. That was awesome. Never seen that before. And as we uh, pass the lighthouse, we get to see the Isle of Mists over there in the distance. There you can see the tower over there. But still, a ways to go. So as we approach the Isle over here on the right, Maybe talk a bit about what you most definitely should have done before you do this. Well, most of the side quests involving major secondary characters, you should have probably done so. Uh, the young crate quests, everything with Zolt and everything with Dandelion, uh, Vernon Roach, Dijkstra, everything you should have done with them should already have been completed. And also, of course, you should have played uh, Gwent with those guys, because they of course give you another card. Well, most of them do anyway. Because I think the game is going to give you a warning when we enter over here as well. So uh, we're starting to look... Uh, we're starting to see the mists that the Isle got its name from. Because we need to sail underneath this... Well, this arch here. And then we should be arriving. There we go. Warning, save your game now. You are nearing a crucial point in the game's story. It is recommended you save your game in a manual save slot now. And then we get another warning. After traveling to the Isle of Mist, some side quests will no longer be available. Recommended character level 22 or higher. So, uh... We are at that level. We're actually a bit above that. Now we have the magic firefly that Avalok gave us. Indicating that we are getting really, really close to where Ciri is hiding. And suddenly it got dark. The Isle of Mist is its own little area, which we won't be able to access later on anymore. So we're going to make the most of it. And a lot of ships have sank here. But the Firefly leads the way, so we won't uh, bump into anything. So there we go, follow the Firefly. I need to keep a lookout for it, because it's with the sails, the sails are getting in the way. And it wiggles a bit, back and forth, okay, going left. And the boat got magically repaired as well, because I damaged the hull a bit when a siren got on board. But that's apparently in the past. Oh, there we go, there we go. That happened. Oh god, that's never a good idea. Ah! 
So this is getting pretty annoying. Don't know where it is now, but not gonna wait for it. Oh, there it is. So as you can see, it tore off a piece of the boat. God damn it. If it's gonna keep doing that, I'm gonna get annoyed. Get over here. Okay, I... Oh, come on. Let's go, Geralt. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and ignore these, because they're gonna keep destroying the boat, I think. That was annoying, but I shouldn't have uh, given them the attention they asked. Is I need to dive into the water first. That light is doing annoying things, but I think we're where we need to be. There we go. Land. Okay, this is starting to look like a horror movie, but... They're not gonna lay off. There he is. So, super-powered foglets is only the start of what we're gonna encounter here, I think. Let's see where this little thingy leads us. Looks like there's a shack over there. The only building we've been seeing until now. Okay, thank you. And it Life stops there. The I'll look inside. Locked. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Doesn't sound like it. Oh, I'm not gonna okay. hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew our fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? So that sounds like dwarves or uh, halflings. I'm looking for a young woman. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Oh, go away. Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. Okay then. I'm starting to get angry. How many of you are How there? How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Buy my mum's beer. Get yourselves to get a lot. You there! Outside the door! Geralt! That right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck. Recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Gotta give it to them, they have a point. How did you find your way up here? Because we were attacked by a kidna and foglets all the way. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey, you call a separate conventional? Leave it be, mate, you know what he means. <laughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were en route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain, who sold him a magic firefly for Porter to know the way to the Ah, there we go. And how did you get that, actually? Because we got the one from Avalok, but uh, they must have found something then. Okay. What do you want? This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. If that's a demon, I'd like to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. 
I be able to do that? Uh, open up before I get angry. Well, we'll look for her, their uh, lost I mates. Mean, will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not potent either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. I vote Gaspar and Benny. The magic number, three. So where will I find these fellows? This Ivo. Where do I look? Edget insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge it. Okay, and Gaspard? Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeated. Said the need to be rescued. We had to take action. Or at least, he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he climbed the highest peak to look out for ships. Okay, and where did Ferenc go? Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's there. Andy, thought I might fix it up, make you see one thing. Okay, well, uh, we have our task, so let's find their friends. Alright, see if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Okay, so we got three markers, all of them not that far away. So let's start off with the one that's closest. And uh, we're bound to come across a few uh, critters on the way. The, there's harpies over here anyway. Oh, okay. There we go. Another harpy massacre done. Although I keep hearing a lot of weird noises. Aside from the noises that I'm hearing outside right now. Don't know what's going on over there. But hey, never mind. Um, let's go search for Ivo in a cave. This, this looks like a cave, doesn't it? Nope. Drop. Don't cry, Geralt. Ooh, money. So this looks like a cave, doesn't it? Although this... Okay, we have a hag over there. We've got two bill jacks. Jacks are necrophages, so uh, let's get to chopping. And there they go. Okay, Ivo, can you get down from there? After I looted these lovely ladies. A man! Ha, am I ever pleased to see you? Yeah, Talk me to too. Friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah. Okay. Dead. God damn it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Okay then, so we have one dead dwarf. I don't know how he even got up there. That's way too far off. But hey, so that's uh, one dwarf we couldn't rescue. Hopefully the next one we're a bit more uh, successful with. Gaspard near the lighthouse. That looks like the lighthouse over here. Don't drop down now. Uh, Gaspard. Hello? chests over here. Okay. Gaspard, mate. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong ladder. Wrong ladder. There we go. 
Well, the lighthouse is on, so... And I hear something. Gone. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake Nibbles? up. Nibbles? What, what's happening? Well, he's alive at least. Who are you? I'm Geralt. Um... <laughs> well, we've seen those things. Uh, your friends told me to find you. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afraid they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Okay, that doesn't sound good. That. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. Okay. I, I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... <gasps> I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. So he... Uh, off we go then. ...falls asleep at random intervals. Great! Do I still need to go past the third guy? Because, well, that's going to be annoying. Bring Gaspar to the hut. Wonder how I will be able to wake the guy up. I'm gonna start off with Quen anyway. And that's one foglet down. Oh shit! Tangalore. Thank you. That's stronger than me, I'm so sorry. I cannot attack this target. How do I wake him up? Wake up. Right, right, just a wee bit longer. Get up. Okay. He is waking up apparently. Oh, I still wanna do this to him. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Uh, so I think the hut is over there now. Uh, that stench. Okay. Come on, Gaspard. So I still think it's hard to see. I think it was up here somewhere. Over here. The lights will point the way. Uh Gaspard? Oh, there he is. Almost lost the little dwarf. So let's drink some water to get our health back up, and the shack should be over there, yeah. Is he. Did he just fall asleep again? No, okay. I hate escort missions. Let it be known. Oh, come on. Wake up. Wake up. I don't, I don't want to go to school. I'm going to smack your face in. Wake up. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Well, Geralt. Ah. Here. Answer him. It just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Okay, so we're here. Uh, this place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> and make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. So Gaspard is saved. Now we're gonna see if Ferenc was uh, mauled by that monster. I see more foglets over there. Have to take my precautions.
As I told. Only one, apparently. It is helping me, me with my uh, alchemy materials a bit, because I got a lot of phosphorus. There we go. Off with his arm. Oh god, that's a fiend. So I'm going to have to switch to relic oil. There we go. Let's reapply our quen sign and go with Igni. Trying to free the fiend. Show me what you got. There we go. Let's keep to its uh, hind legs. And that uh, does it. I don't know where it's going, but... Okay. See you in the next life. Okay. So, well, the dwarf died, sadly. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. So that's Farrenk. So we've uh, checked up on all three of the dwarves. So only thing left is to head back and uh, ask the dwarves to let us in. And the strange noises are continuing, although it seems I killed pretty much every foglet on the island by now. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Ignited, thank you. Let's continue. And, well, Gaspard is still outside apparently. Are you your friend? Ah, sure. Let's hear him then. <laughs> and he fell asleep again. D I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. How are you opening the door that we need to stand Gaspard? back? Gaspard, you seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. So the dwarf with narcolepsy the is the only one, one that survived. Dead. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Okay, but, help. uh... And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. What about Siri? Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. Excuse me? Step aside. Step aside. She's cold. Spirits left her. Nothing. What? Let's wait by the boat. Well, that's impossible, isn't it? What are you waiting for? Go in. Come on, Gerald, it's Siri. She's stronger than that. He's there, all right.
And they say witchers can't have emotions. But there's the magic firefly. Guess um, not all of Vesemir's teachings have received. I'm not crying. There's, a, there's just something a witch in my eye. Can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe, even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But no, you can barely I see it. I wonder where he is now. Well, uh, we kind of fixed all that. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be... You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. So, um... Do you actually know why he's helping you? Why exactly is Avalog helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Oh, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalach tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. Is that because he don't doesn't want you to be with Eridan, or because he doesn't want to lose your power? What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. So this is about war as it is always about, isn't it? So how did your uh, voyage with Avalok start? How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. And what was that world? The world where Eridan couldn't find you. What was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance. Using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> <sighs> we should have stayed there. Okay, and why did you return then? So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. At times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So, uh, we kind of know the story, so she doesn't need to repeat that. Um, so, uh, tell me how you wound up here then, because that's the only part we don't really know about. How did Avalar get the curse, how do you for example? Up here? What happened? Last I remember, 
I was on the Skellica shore, arguing with Avalark. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. Well, we kind of fixed that peacefully, but... I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. And that is a reference... Me too. To the first expansion, I think. But we'll see that when we get to it, don't we? Ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Can you recognize that recognize place? Recognize it. Know where it might be. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Kind of sounds Did like you? the tower here on the Isle of Mists, doesn't it? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead, Siri. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. We're on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Yeah, because we wouldn't want that, really. Portals. <laughs> of course he does. Damn. And those little buggers already left with the boat. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Uh-oh. That's not good, is it? There they are. Get us out of here. They don't know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home. There we go. 